Three, here they go. Well, they're still rotating. They're still doing the business. Clinton Avery at the front. And he moves over. And Sam Horgan, is he going to come through and take a lap? He does. So they've got their pace going, but I don't know if it's going to be fast enough. Well, look at the way that Clinton just eased off the pedals there. Johnny, I don't know if um, these guys are going to be able to hang on because that peloton has got a tailwind behind them now and they are fair honking along. And look at that. It looked to me like George Bennett just sat back. No, there he goes. Is that an attack that he's putting in? Or is he just rolling through quickly? I think he's just rolling through. These guys don't look to be going as fast as the peloton. So it looks to me like that gap that we saw was about 20 seconds before might be closing down. So coming up to about the 5k to go marker, that'll be the next one that we see. George Bennett on the front, Clinton Avery and Sam Horgan. And uh, Bennett looks around to see what's going on behind him. Where's the peloton? Do we still keep rotating? Well, they've got a lot of work to do as we head towards the sausage capital of Western Southland, Tuatapuri. Well, you can't see anything on the horizon, but Tuatapuri is just down the road from us right now. And these guys will be looking around, hoping desperately hoping that they can hang on. They've been out here for kilometres and kilometres. Can they make this payoff? Can they make it just between the three of them for the stage win here in Tuatapiti? Clinton Avery, who had a few races this year with the Radio Shack team, with Lance Armstrong's team, he was uh, what they call a stagiaire. He was given a jersey and uh, given the support, and he rode the Tour of Denmark and one other race for them. He, he impressed them so much, and that was what secured him as contract with uh, Pegasus Racing, a team that will ride Continental Pro next year in Europe. That's an Australian based team isn't it John? So he'll Correct be... and they've signed some very good riders for next year and amongst them Robbie McEwen so he's going to be in there and he'll be mixing it up in some of the big one day classics and that's the sort of bike rider he is, this is his specialty but it's been a very long season for them, they've ridden a lot of races and they're trying to hang on to some form right at the tail end of the season and then they get a little time off and then it's the national champs going for that black and white jersey in January. Clinton Avery is such a great rider. We've seen him contest sprints here. He's been a time trial champion of New Zealand. He's been a mountain bike champion of New Zealand. We can see him. He's at the front here driving this. He's won a tour in Belgium before in his career. So he's really a great all-round rider. Still only young too. Here. Now here goes George Bennett. He's not happy with the pace that's being set by Horgan as Horgan rolls through. And I think the man from Subway may be feeling it now. And uh, Bennett and Avery seem to be still full of beans, but Horgan, I think, is having a bit of a struggle. And as they see that the peloton's approaching, a little bit of discontent in here is breaking them up and causing just a bit of unrest in this breakaway, which could lead to their downfall. Yeah, and that's not a good sign for them. And also, I look up the road and I see that the service van has got out from behind them, so it's less than uh, 35 seconds, the gap. Let's go back and have a look and see what's happening in the peloton because they must be... There's Landis again at the front. You can tell by the socks, that, the black socks that he wears. But he is very keen for his man, Alex Ray, to get up there and win this stage. And they hand over to Share the Road one more time. It's becoming very familiar. Interesting that Share the Road haven't handed over completely to the sprinters' teams to take the responsibility for coming into Tuatapri. They're not content to let the sprinters' teams take over. They want to make sure the time gap is as small as possible or brought back. And if it comes to a sprint and Share the Road, they will lead out Jack Bauer because Bauer showed his sprinting prowess at the National Road Champions Championships when he beat Ralston and one of the world's best road sprinters, Julian Dean. That's right. So Jack Bauer can sprint in a road race, and they'll be setting him up in this one. So the white jersey, he's sitting in front of the yellow jersey. Jack Bauer will be going for this stage when you can bet your life about that one. Calder Stewart, will be, well, I see them having a little chat back there. They'll be trying to set up Greg Henderson, and we know that Orcavallo Marino are trying to set up Alex Ray. So those are the three that we know that are going for the stage win if they catch the front three and we've got to think about other guys there's Tom Scully in there's a great sprinter Correct. and Mike Northy from Pure Black he's another one that does feature when it comes to the bunch gallops well we can't be too far away from town here's uh, George Bennett now Horgan is still hanging in there looking around as Clinton Avery you know, town will we've got a little descent here and uh, they'll drop down and you'll see the outskirts of Tuatapri. It's a lovely little settlement, Tuatapri. And it used to be very popular in the olden days as a picnic venue for the Invercargillites. They would get the train out to Invercargill for the, for the sports days. And they'd have cycling and running and chopping, wood chopping and what have you. And uh, it was where Southland gathered once upon a time. But of course the railway's gone now, so that tradition has gone with the railway. The railway station's still there though in Tuatapri and they are 
they're, they're doing it up, John. You'll be pleased to know they're restoring that station. I'm not sure what they're going to put in there, a cafe or something. It should be very nice. Bring back the steam engines. Anyway, steam engines, there's one on the front, Clinton Avery driving this, and George Bennett at the back. He's uh, pedaling, seems to be a slightly smaller gear than the other two, but that's more his style. He's more of a climber than a roller. But he goes to the front, takes his turn, looking around, trying to see where that peloton is. They haven't got far to go. We missed the 5k to go board. We were back with the peloton. And so there's still not that many k's to go in this stage. And look at how fast George Bennett can pedal his bike. Sam Horgan, a much bigger man, just trying to hang on to George there. He won't get much slipstream from George. George won't be saving him much air because he's so much taller. George flicks his elbow. He says, come through, come through. I need help here. I'm not going to do it by myself. Well, Horgan is struggling to come through and taking these turns. <laughs> and Sam's actually pushing him through. George is actually pushing him through. And Clinton Avery sitting on George Bennett's wheel now. Didn't come through for his turn. So Bennett decides, blow you two. I'm going on my own. And here we come up to one of the marker boards to show us how long we've got to go now. We've got three kilometres to go. And Horgan was hurt by that effort of George Bennett's. And I don't think he's going to get back on this time. But it's Bennett all over the road saying, come on Clinton, come through, come on, let's keep this thing going, let's keep this effort going, we can win this stage, the two of us, and you need this Clinton because you want to get some time back on the GC. Oh, but oh, look dear. behind, oh here they come, and there's someone off the front there hunting them down, and Horgan knows what the uh, outcome of this is going to be, so I think it's good night from him, as he looks back, but Bennett and Clinton Avery are not giving up. It's not good night for them. They've been out for so long, they're not going to give it up with just three Ks to go. This will be exquisite torture if they get caught before Tuatapere now. And it, I think we just caught a sight of that bridging rider coming up there, so it looks like at least one other rider is going to catch them. Maybe he can help these two keep up a high pace and stay away from the peloton right through the last two and a half Ks. Avery and Bennett still pounding away. They want the stage, they're not giving it away. Horgan has conceded and is going back to the peloton. But these two, they keep looking around, but there they go again. But Bennett is not giving up. He's fighting on. Let's go back and have a look. Two k's to go. It's not far to the finish. Where's the peloton? What are they doing? Here they are. Who's at the front? Oh, Walker it's Landis. Yeah, Landis' team, and uh, they are powering for their man, Alex Ray, trying to set him up for the sprint, and they swallow up Sam Horgan. Peloton work their way around him. Here we that go. was a call to Stuart man at the front of the peloton, so maybe they are going to set it up for, for Greg Henderson to sprint. Well, these two, they, the next sign they'll see is one kilometre to go. So call to Stuart at the front now, joining in the fun. And That's uh, Hayden Ralston there, just swinging off and letting the share the road guys continue. So Hayden Ralston's coming up the front to help his teammate Hendy try and get a place in this sprint here. These two still powering away. Bennett number 50, look around. Well, somewhere behind that motorbike. Commissaire's motorbike, well, I think was the Peloton. Let's see if we get another shot of it and see where they are. About 1k to go, they've still got a gap, but these guys are working hard. Floyd Landis coming to the front of the Peloton. Oh, there we go, this is the catch. And it's going to be all over, and that's very unfortunate too, because I thought if Bennett and um, Avery had just a little bit more firepower to help them, they could have done it. Well, we're we a go. bit we closer. Now, look at this, Olheiser. Olheiser and he's setting up his man for the Jackson Plumbing team Cody and Stevenson. Cody Stevenson, the Australian in their team. He's so who else sprinter. has been set up? We've got PowerNet there. They're setting up uh, Tom, Tom Scully. Scully. Can we see Calder Stewart? There's one Calder Stewart rider over on the gutter on the far side. But it's Olheiser now trying to get uh, Cody Stevenson in the frame. Olheiser swings over, lets Cody Stevenson go through, but uh, look at the PowerNet team, and they've got Tom Scully on their wheel, and uh, the man that won the scratch race at the National Track Cycling Championships this year and missed out on a place in the Commonwealth Games is going for the win. And he's got Archibald helping him as well, but Calder Stewart coming around the outside. Is that Greg Henderson? They head up to the line. Henderson, Northey's in there as well. Williamson for Subway as they get up towards the line. Here comes Greg Henderson around the outside. Greg Henderson, he's out the front. He's got Northey underneath him, and James Williamson is going to be up there in third, but it's going to be Greg Henderson, win number seven for the year. So Mike Northey, James Williamson, Tom Scully, and Joseph Chapman almost getting up to Greg Henderson, but Greg Henderson showing his class and winning that sprint into Tuatapere. Greg, is it a tricky thing to split the focus of your team between uh, getting you a stage win and uh, trying to keep Rolly close to the top of the GC? No, we're just 100% here for Rolly, and uh, whatever I can pick up stage wins wise is a bonus, and uh, it's all about you know riding for Calder Stewart and uh, 
and keeping them happy, basically. Thanks, mate. Cheers, Bloody good. And when did you when did you realise this afternoon that you guys were going to catch those three breakaway riders? Oh, they didn't get far enough. You know, they only had a minute or something. You know, and when they put the gas down a little bit, it went straight back down to 30 seconds. So I was a little worried because we turned into tailwind, and it's really hard to catch a break in tailwind. But you know, everybody then could sniff uh, sniff a stage wind. So there was um, you know a few teams up there leading out their guys and. Uh, you know, I sort of just fed off them and stayed calm and opened my sprint really early. But uh, like I said, I'm still puffing. <laughs> I'm just not fit enough to go that early at the moment. 